Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan Funes and I'm a graphic designer at University Centers. What my team does is pretty much make posters and graphics for different concerts and events happening on campus. So things like DIY events, movies and concerts, we're usually behind those posters. And some of you guys have probably seen our posters and wonder what our design process is like. So that's pretty much what I'm going to take you guys through today. Uh, additionally, if you guys want to see some of my personal illustration work or design work or other work I've done for University Centers, feel free to visit my uh, Instagram at funes underscore design. You can see a lot more of my work there. For today, we don't really have a concert to make a poster for, but I did get requests to make one for uh, Harry Styles, which is an interesting choice since he uses a lot of fashion and color to express himself, and we can definitely use that in our design work. So let's get started. So beforehand, I did do some quick thumbnail sketches of what I might want the poster to look like. And I also went through some photos of Harry Styles. I picked these just because I really like the colors and the composition. Uh, out of these three though, I think I'm going to go with this one. Just because it's the most recognizable right now. It's his most recent album. I really like the colors on this photo and the composition is really nice. So. Just gonna take this into Photoshop real quick and gonna edit some colors and remove the background. So there's a few ways to remove the background here. I'm gonna just make a shape here, a circle, and let's center that on the artboard. Just so we get just so we can get a nice edge here instead of the uh, that fuzzy edge on the original photo. And what we're gonna do is rasterize it, select the shape, and we're gonna make a clipping mask. So for those of you unfamiliar with clipping masks, this is a non-destructive way to edit your photo. Basically, um, if you look down here, the black parts are the colors and backgrounds being erased while the white parts are the parts that remain on the, on the, on the screen. So I have the photo how I want it here, but I do want to edit some of the colors just to make it a little bit more fun. Let's open our curves panel. We'll bring the highlights up just a bit. Darken that. Maybe have a little bit less contrast. mess with the saturation we want bright loud colors we want to catch people's attention that's looking good to me another fun thing you can do on the hue and saturation is change the color of the entire image um, we're not gonna do that right now though we want to keep them in this pink and blue uh, tone so now that we have that we can open up an Illustrator file. And our dimensions are going to be 11 by 17. That's usually standard poster size. So we're going to keep all this the same. We're not going to change anything on here. We'll just name it um, Harry Styles Poster. OK. So there's our artboard. We're going to turn the rulers on. Um, and we want to bring this photo into Illustrator. So there's no way to just pull all of these um, adjustment layers into Illustrator. So what I'm going to do is group this and then duplicate it just so I have the original files here in case I want to change them. But I'll group it and then I will merge these files and uh, we can delete the ellipse here. And so now this is just a standard JPEG. There's no layers anymore. It's all been merged. All the colors and hue and saturation we messed with is all condensed. And we can easily just drag this onto our Illustrator file. And transparent background, it's perfect. It's just what we need. So let's pull in my sketches too, just so we can See what we're working with. See, go through any ideas that might stick out. So I do have some here that play with the circle photographs. 
this one here that's four next to each other and this one where it's like this plus some text down here this one has like surrounding circles around it I think I want to go with this one just for simplicity um, we can do some really really cool type treatments uh, so let's go with that one So just as important as the picture, we have to choose a font that we want to use for our poster. So we're just going to type in Harry Styles here. And I do want to keep this pretty like modern. Something that's kind of trendy right now is sans serif, like really thick sans serif fonts. Um, we're gonna go with one called Termina. Let's go with Heavy. And something that I like to do is just kind of match these lines here so it's kind of like a little rectangle. It keeps everything neat and in order not to be perfect um, and then for Kearney you can go optical messes with the spacing between the letters and you can also go um, in by hand and mess with that to make it more balanced we'll change we'll tighten this a little bit that's looking really good So I do want to do some really cool text edits. So I'll move this off to the side. Um, I'm holding Alt, which duplicates it, and that basically just makes a copy. It keeps all of the edits we just made with the kerning and letting. And I'll press Command Shift O to make an outline of these texts. So something cool that I want to do to this is add like a 3D text, like kind of like it's popping off of the page. So. We're going to click our Harry Styles title and we're going to open our appearance uh, panel here. And let's add a fill. We're going to add two fills and we're going to focus on the bottom one. So let's change the color of the bottom one just so we can see it. And we're going to go to Distort, Transform and Transform. So what this is going to do is basically make copies of our Harry Styles type so that we can turn it into a 3D type. So if you see here, I can move this and there's that magenta color. And let's see, let's do that, 25 and 25. And then down here, we're gonna make some copies. Let's make two copies. And obviously this does not look 3D, but um, what we're gonna do now is go to Object, Expand Appearance, and now all of these are outlined. These are all movable and editable. So we can see here it's overlapping a little bit. I don't want that, so let's move that down. And I'm gonna ungroup these. So we still have our original text box here so I'm going to make a copy and then I'm gonna hide that copy so we still have that one there we're gonna edit that one and basically what we're gonna do now is just merge these shapes and we're gonna take out some of these anchor points here to make them straight lines and make them look uh, 3d so just gonna do that now
All right, so we have our 3D looking text now. I think it looks pretty good. Um, as you guys saw, there was an issue here on these curves that uh, from the S. If anybody knows an easier way to do that, go ahead and do it and teach me how to do it <laughs> because there have been a few ways that I've tried doing like 3D text like this and the curves like on C's and S's are, are always an issue, but we made it and here we are. And I think it looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do now is kind of just design the text based on the image here. So let's pick our color, let's do a gradient. So let's pick a random gradient. Let's do this one. Let's do 90 degrees. And we'll just pick some colors off of the picture. We'll do like this salmon color. We'll pick off of his shirt. Let's take a nice pink. Um, we'll do this light blue here and dark blue. And then we get rid of that. Just space these out evenly. And that looks pretty cool. I'm happy with the how that looks. Let's color the text here. Let's pick the white off of his hands. Kind of a blue tone to it. That's fine. And we'll add a stroke around it. Add a stroke around this one here too. That looks pretty cool. And we can see here there's a weird line. We just take that off. Okay. I like how this is looking. Group these. Turn that up. Let's bring this down. Let's add a background color. We can do another color pick. This one kind of just automatically did a gradient, but I don't think I like that. Let's color pick again. Maybe this blue color could be really nice. Let's do that. That's looking really good. Now, the image, in the image he's a little off-center, which I'm not a huge fan of. Let's fix that. So we'll select both of them and center them. And what we can do here, we can use the same power of clipping masks that we used in Photoshop, but now in Illustrator, which is really cool one of my favorite tools and you can resize here and center stuff without having to go back into Photoshop and go through that whole process again. So maybe let's do something like that. He's a little bit more center now. The hand is still there. It's almost cut off, but let's just leave it there for now. Let's add a stroke to it since we added a stroke to everything else. Get rid of that. That looks pretty cool. Let's see what happens if we add a gradient. So it's kind of like keep going off of the text. That looks really cool. I really like how that looks. Looks a little like a uh, crystal ball and Harry Styles is in our future. Let's make him a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's looking good. So if we want to keep going with this crystal ball idea, let's Add some sparkles on it, make it look like he's glowing. So I'm not sure how you guys make your stars and sparkles, but this is how I do mine. 
there's probably an easier way to do it. But I like to make things harder myself. Just select all of these and join. And there we go. So just put that like here maybe. Make that a little bit bigger. What three? to the text. It's looking pretty neat. Let's change the color on them. Even though our color palette right now is like pinks and blues, we might get away with adding some yellow. Let's do that. We'll make it a pale yellow, almost like a cream colored star. That's looking good. Just nudge that up a little bit. Maybe bring that closer. That's looking pretty good to me. looks really cool and let's move this a little bit more towards the center like I haven't saved it um, in a little while so let's save that in there before my computer crashes and we gotta do this again and so this is I think really good so far let's add some concert info so let's pick a date we'll do let's do next week he's playing at our school next week We'll do Wednesday, May 20. So get your tickets, folks, because he's playing next week. Where's he playing? He's playing at the loft, obviously, because we all fit at the loft for a Harry Styles show. Let's do Demi, and let's open that up. looks kind of plain right now so let's add something to this let's add an underline under the text here and basically do the same effect we have up here do something like that and we don't have to go through that same process we did earlier it's just a text box sorry it's just a rectangle so it's not that involved go and we can give it the same effect we did up here looks really good hmm let's do Tuesday May 19th that gives us more room to play with obviously you can't choose the day when you're making a real poster you're not gonna have the option to just pick what looks good but here it looks good and this concert isn't actually happening so we can choose when it's gonna be and where it's gonna be I like where we're at maybe bring back the dummy. yeah yeah this looks good so the last step is gonna be taking this into our 
university centers template where we have our loft logo and our loft info and things like that. So let's just go here to our poster and drag and drop. And there it is. There's our final poster. We went from looking at sketches, picking out a photo, picking colors, fixing the framing, picking fonts, doing type treatments. And this is our final product and I'm really happy with it. Typically this would be posted around the school for y'all to see, but unfortunately we can't do that right now. But I really hope you guys had fun looking at the process of making a poster and walking through the steps to come to our final product. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you guys were following along or if you guys were inspired by this video, I'd love to see your version of a Harry Styles poster. Again, feel free to reach me at funis underscore design. Send me your posters there or we could just keep talking more about design. Uh, that's it for me. I really hope you guys enjoyed going through this process with me. Thank you guys so much.